Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShop.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is video three of three that will show you how to make your own uh, resistor-based keypad that requires only one I.O. pin on your Arduino or microcontroller as long as that specific pin uh, has analog to digital capabilities. We're going to be using the A0 pin. So if you haven't seen the uh, previous videos, one talks about the schematic, one talks about the interface with the Arduino and the basic decoding, and this video finishes with the decoding code. Uh, and so we'll get to that in just a minute, but we've got 5 volts connected to our power line, to our Arduino, ground to our ground pin on our Arduino, and uh, our out pin connected to the A0 line. Now, if you have again, the uh, the other two videos are linked below. If you haven't watched them already, they're very, very practical and they're very, very short. Feel free to watch those. Now, let's get to back to the code. This code is not yet complete. It will be in a minute. I just wanted to save room. Uh, so let's start at the top. First, we have to declare our integers, keypad, and decode it. Keypad will be a storage unit for our analog to digital conversion results from the keypad. Decoded will be a storage area for our decoded result which will tell us which button we've pressed. In void setup currently we only have one function which is serial begin 9600. This sets up our serial communicator uh, at 9600 baud so that we'll be able to see what button we've pressed. We'll get to that in a minute. minute. Below that you'll see that I've written we'll be writing our, in our decode function here in just a minute. We will be doing that but I wanted to talk about void loop first. Keep, uh, keypad equals analog read zero. This takes an analog reading on a, the A0 line, stores it into keypad. If keypad is larger than 40, meaning a button has been pressed, if a button has not been pressed, uh, keypad would equal zero or one. Uh, if keypad equals larger than 40, then follow on to the next area of the function. Wait a second for, to account for debounce, because when you press a button, there is a mechanical bounce. You want to account for debounce, so uh, we've added in a 150 millisecond uh, debounce settle time. Now I've written in the comment 100 milliseconds, but it is a 150 millisecond delay. Then we call the, de call the decode function. We're going to get to the decode function in a second, but what that's going to do is that's going to take our data that's in keypad from our analog to digital reading if a button was pressed, and we're going to use that and turn it into a button between uh, 1 and 10. And after that value is returned in the decoded integer, uh, serial print, you've pressed button number, and then on the next line, you've pressed, uh, you, it'll say you've pressed button, and it'll say 1 to 10. After that, we do a while statement. If you're still holding the button down at this point, the analog reads 0, we, we take an analog reading on the A0 line, that reading is going to read higher than 40. So, as long as you're holding that button down, nothing's going to happen. While while uh, while this uh, while you're holding a button down, do nothing until you let go of the button. You let go of the button, and then there's a 150 millisecond delay. And this again accounts for uh, switch off debounce. And then we repeat, we re repeat, rinse and repeat the void loop. Hopefully uh, you're not. Hopefully you're able to follow along with me. I know I'm not explaining it overly well, but what we really need to know is we've got our integer decoded and that's going to hold the data coming that comes back from our decode function. So let's add our decode function under the void setup area. The code is linked below so you can have a better look at it if you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to show you half of our uh, decode routine. As you can see we've got void decode under our void setup and when we call this function what's going to happen is it's going to take the analog to digital value in keypad and it's going to run it through a very very long if else if statement. And so if keypad, the value in keypad, which is the A to D value, is less than 150, then the button you've pressed is 10. Otherwise, if uh, the value in keypad is less than 250, you've pressed button 9. Else if keypad, the value in keypad is less than 320, it will return with a value of 8. Decoded will return with a value of 8. And that will be printed that will be printed on our serial communicator. Now, if this, these numbers, these A to D numbers don't make sense, watch video number two. But really, you should watch video one through three if you really want to learn on how this works. The commented code is, um, is included. Now, let's do a demonstration. So all I've got here is a, an external keypad powered with the 5 volt and ground lines and the output from that keypad connected to 
uh, the A0 input. All of the other I.O. ports and other uh, analog ports are free right now. We're only using one. So I've uh, programmed that code in, the code link below, and uh, now I can basically open the serial monitor and press buttons 1 through 10, even quickly, and uh, it will read the proper value. So I'll press button 1. You press button 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I can go 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 5, 6, it doesn't matter. So now that you have those decoded values in the decoded integer, you can use that to do certain things, uh, say make a, 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 a combination lock if you want. Uh, that's just one of a hundred things you can do, one of a thousand things you can do. You can now use ten buttons on one eye open. Thanks for watching. I hope that you've uh, found this interesting, and I hope you've taken the time to watch the other two videos. Take care and have a great day, guys.